Hi Taurus, it's time for our daily get together. Today is Saturday, January 27th, 2024. Let's look at your tarot cards and see what messages come out for you today, Taurus. What you should be aware of. Spirits, what does Taurus need to know? Right now, at the time they're viewing this video, what does Taurus need to know? Taurus, what is going on? All right, Taurus, what did you do? Did you run into a soulmate? Someone here that you're thinking about a lot. The Eight of Cups is here. And then you have the Seven of Wands. I feel like you're thinking about some type of past memory and how you could have walked away. Huh. You're thinking, there's this thought in your mind, there's this memory that sticks with you. And that's what's showing up here. Love, you have the Two of Cups. I feel like you've met your soulmate. The Page of Wands is in the center of your reading. You have the Nine of Wands. The Five of Pentacles. The Hierophant, this is your energy, Taurus. And then you have the Knight of Pentacles. On the bottom of the deck, you have the Two of Pentacles. And you have Justice, Libra energy. Mm hmm. Okay, so let's move up here to the Six of Cups. Why is the Six of Cups here? Hold on, let me grab a different deck you guys to clarify with. This is going to be kind of a deep reading here, I can tell already. I'm like really, really going into your mind here. There's something here that you're thinking about. And this is either... Okay, spirits are telling me this is a this is someone from a past lifetime, someone here in your present lifetime. All right, you you've known this person before. There's a certain familiar feeling about this person. There's a feeling of safety. Tell me why the Six of Cups is here. Sorry for yawning, you guys. My my ear just needed to be popped. Why is the Six of Cups here? This is not a yawning manner at all. This is a very interesting reading that you have here. You have the King of Cups. The 
the Page of Swords. This person that you're thinking about, this person is has their eye on you. Wow, the Ace of Cups. This person loves you. Why is the Page of Swords here? This person's watching you, Taurus. The Hierophant is here. So this is someone that you have been in some type of commitment with. And the Three of Swords is here. So they're feeling pain. They're feeling heartbreak. And they don't want to give up. The Nine of Rods is here. They do not want to give up. You could be walking away from this, though. Why is the Eight of Cups here? You could have walked away from this. You could have felt like, you know what? You're betraying me. You're lying to me. Six of Cups. This is someone that you know. Someone that you have history with. Someone that you have some type of a commitment with. This person, I'm seeing you thinking about this person and I'm here to tell you this person is thinking about you a lot and um, it's almost like they're They're lying to themselves or they're lying about something. Why is the Seven of Swords here? There's something here about a betrayal, but this betrayal is a lie. It could have something to do with money or some type of stability here. Someone overthinking something. And emotionally walking away. Something about some type of stability here that do, it seems like it's very difficult. But it's a lie. Something here is... Is a lie. Even when I split the deck, the moon is here. It's either a lie or someone is not seeing something clearly for what it is. Tell me why the seven of wands is here. It looks like you're pushing back. Like you're feeling defensive here. Death, the ace of swords. Scorpio energy with death. This person... Um, you could be feeling defensive. Um, this person, they want to talk. They want to tell you the truth. They, the truth is they're making a decision about this ending. About the love between the two of you. There's still love here. Tell me why the Two of Cups is here. This is like, let's, let's talk about this. Why is the Two of Cups here? The Nine of Swords and the Four of Cups. So, they're very worried. And um, some of the energy I read, it can be reversed, but... I'm seeing here someone's very worried. Someone's having a hard time sleeping. And I feel like it's this person. Like they are constantly thinking about you. And um, the Four of Cups is here. So they feel like um, there's 
there's a missed opportunity with you. Like, they feel like you are the one. Tell me why the Four of Cups is here. The Knight of Pentacles. And so they're kind of moving towards you here, but they're moving towards you very, very slowly. They want to talk. They could send you a message, Taurus. This is the messenger I see showing up. Why is the Page of Wands here? You have the Seven of Rods. Okay, so this person, um, there's something here about a defensive energy that they want to talk about, okay? There's this energy of, they feel like you're, you're pushing back. Tell me why the Page of Wands is here. The moon, the seven of pentacles, and the knight of rods. You know, the moon is here, so you could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. But whoever this person is, they are, they are looking at things with the seven of pentacles here they're looking at things wanting things to grow and reevaluating a situation it's like um i see this person moving from the knight of pentacles moving from really slow to like like instantly hot like rushing towards you here But there's something unseen here, which is why we have the moon. Why is the moon here? The Five of Swords. This person's really in their emotions about an argument here that took place. And um, you could have emotionally walked away. You could have blocked communication with this person. This person, I feel like they're feeling very defensive here. And I feel like you are almost to the point where you feel like you want to give up. But yet there's still this energy here of like back and forth, like wanting to fight for this. At times you feel like giving up. Tell me why the Nine of Wands is here. The Queen of Cups. I see someone here that's offering you their love. And I definitely feel like you love this person too. And the thing is, is someone here is dealing with a Pisces because this is like very similar to the Pisces reading I just did. Or someone who has Pisces in their chart. Yeah, you know, the whoever this person is could be a Leo too, but they're you know they're they're holding on to this too tightly. They don't want to let go. Okay. 
I just feel like, I mean, with you showing up as the wounded warrior, it's like you're getting exhausted and tired over some type of an argument or something that may be consistently maybe coming up. But it's just a, um, an illusion, okay? Like, um, an accusation. The sun is here. So something's going to be revealed. Something's going to be seen. And I see healing and great happiness here after um, a judgment call is made, a decision is made. Um, someone they don't want to they don't want to be without you Taurus and I, I'm pausing because I keep getting this energy here of there's like that song by Elvis um, suspicious minds that's the name of it it's like this person has like a suspicious mind but none of it is really the reality it's like someone is feeling defensive the five of pentacles is here so someone could have blocked communication but there's this feeling of feeling left out in the cold this is all changing, though. These are fives. The Hierophant, your energy, and the five of pentacles here. Justice. Do you see even on this card, it looks like someone's being accused, like an accusation. Okay, there's something, some type of truth that's going to come out about juggling or... um someone who's been inconsistent tell me why the five of pentacles is here you know they're going back and forth in their mind taurus about um, coming up with a new plan. Because this person, there could be something here about money. An issue here. Maybe writing a letter. They keep thinking about, like there's repeated thoughts here about work or money. There's, there's like a feeling of disappointment and money, like something's being held back. The devil, Capricorn energy. Someone here is obsessed with working. Tell me why the devil is here. Yeah, and they're tired. I'm seeing someone here that is a workaholic. Like someone works and works and works. And the other person may feel left out in the cold or ghosted. And they may be feeling like um, a trust issue. Like something else is going on. Tell me why the Hierophant is here. I feel like you feel some type of a commitment to this person. The Fool, Aries energy. You feel a commitment to this person and this person may seem to you, you know, that they are being risky or they're trying to control 
the emperor is here which is aries energy they're trying to control um something or taking some type of a foolish risk in work and they're feeling sadness they're feeling regret because this could have affected you in some way tell me why the fool is here this person could have blocked or you could have blocked communication and this person just said i'm letting go i'm moving on and now they regret it and this could happen over and over and over again Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Okay, so now we have the Empress. This is you and the Three of Swords. The Empress and the Three of Swords. The thing is, is whoever this person is, they have the best of intentions. But I feel like they have... And a, a suspicious mind is what I'm getting. Tell me why the Wheel of Fortune is here. The King of Swords. They overthink. They could be overthinking and think there's a third party. Yeah, I feel like this this person, they could think that you have a third party. You could be the one who's a workaholic. Someone here spends a lot of time working. Tell me why the Empress is here. The Eight of Cups. I'm seeing you here like in the process of coming up with some type of new plan or an idea here because this is painful. Let's look at um, the Two of Pentacles and Justice, Taurus, because um, this juggling act or going back and forth the truth is going to come out, okay? And you will receive justice and truth. Tell me why justice is here. I mean, tell me why the two of pentacles is here. The two of swords. Not making up their mind, not making a decision. I feel like they want you and then they get suspicious and then they um, let go out of anger or something. Tell me why the Two of Pentacles is here. Maybe there is a third party for someone. Tell me what this Three of Cups is about, spirits. If you're not together with this person, Taurus, if there's been a block in communication, for some of you there has, this person is manifesting you. This person wants the happily ever after with you. They want the Ten of Cups with you, which is marriage forever. I see marriage again here. Tell me why justice is here. But I, I'm feeling like there's a false accusation here. Because everything here is perfect. <coughs> the 
the justice will be a higher level of commitment because both of you are um, learning a lesson. This is a soul connection and this is something that you both signed up for before this lifetime to to meet to come together so that you could both learn something so you both have something that you can learn from the other okay you both bring something here together um where it it helps you learn <coughs> some type of lesson and I'm feeling like for some of you this is a lesson where you haven't been with a person like this before and this relationship it's it's very different than the ones that you've been in before and so it causes a lot of confusion but there is love here but there's this finger pointing defensive energy I am sorry, you guys. I have cold cough. All right, you guys. Let's start with Aries. Let's look at the hidden truth. What does Aries wish to say to Taurus? I've been struggling. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. Leo. I regret lying to you. I don't know how to let you go. Sagittarius. I don't react when people mention you. Aquarius. I wondered how far this would go. Libra. I love you. Gemini. I remember every detail of that day. Taurus, I want to tell you so much. Virgo, you came closer than anyone. Capricorn, finding out the truth crushed me. Pisces, It's time for me to heal now. Cancer. You're so easy to see through. Scorpio. I know we have a soul connection. All right, Taurus, and let's get your moonology cards for advice. Spirits, what does Taurus need to know? Advice for Taurus. Take time to breathe out, disseminating moon. I'm seeing someone just working, 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 obsessively working, obsessed with working. Take it. Take time to breathe out. A win-win outcome is forecast. Full moon in Libra. And a time to give rather than take. New moon in Virgo. And on the bottom of the deck, you have have faith in your dreams. Waxing crescent moon. And I'm trying to... Um, get you guys to train your subconscious mind for positive thinking because it attracts success um 
So it's really important for you to try to train your subconscious mind, you know, to think positively. Um, so, and the affirmation today, you guys, spirits want you to think about and write it in the comments so you, or someplace you have it written down. I prioritize my health and well being. I prioritize my health and well-being. I prioritize my health and well-being. All right, you guys. I love you guys. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for your donations to the channel and taking the time to like and subscribe and leave me a comment and to share this reading. Um, take care of you guys today and I will see you tomorrow, Taurus. Namaste.